I grew up in a leave it to beaver home. <laughs> I mean, it was as good as a childhood could get. I had wonderful Christian parents who brought us to church and kind of always knew Christ growing up. We did a lot of church looking. I think you, you go around and try to find that place that feels like home or you're getting the right messages. And we tried several in the area and both my husband and I agreed after the first time we came to Five Oaks that this was the place that we were, it just felt right. On April 21st, 2008, our son, Caleb, um, was stillborn. He was 24 weeks and five days old, so about six months. And it really, it rocked our world. It rocked our faith. It rocked our marriage and really kind of brought us back to a point where we kind of realized, wow, you know, bad things happen in life. And, and then w what do you do with that? Um, once we got home and the family, um, our family left and the flowers stopped coming and started to die and the cards were coming less and less in the mail and I felt like everyone had just forgotten everyone but me. It was hard to be a happy mom to my three and a half year old on one minute but yet on the other hand turn around and feel like um, crying because my other little child was not here. A couple weeks into our grieving process we wrote on the worship program a prayer request saying just please pray for us in our, in our grief process and trying to figure out how to how to deal with this because it's not something you ever expect that you're going to have to go through. I walked out to the mailbox and in there was a package and inside I found this beautiful prayer shell and a note that um, encapsulated everything, everything I was feeling. Um, it's hard when a child dies because I think people don't know what to say. They don't want to hurt your feelings, um, but really the parents just want to talk about the child because not saying anything is like it never happened at all. And the words inside this card um, forever have touched my heart because I felt like they knew exactly how I was feeling and explained to me that as this beautiful prayer shawl was being knit, um, they were whispering my name to God. And so many weeks after that when I couldn't sleep because the ache in my heart was so big, I'd get up in the night and put some praise music on my ear, in my earphones and wrap the shawl around me and just cry and feel like I was getting a hug, if not from God, from somebody I didn't even know who cared enough to understand how I was feeling and to actually say the words I was wishing everyone else had said. We walk around and smile and like to act like everything's okay, but we all have hurts and we all have needs. And if we're willing to take the step and write on that communication card, the, the hurt that we're going through, there's a team of people that want to be there to care, that, that do care, that want to make, um, make you feel closer to God, that to help you on your way through your healing process or help you through a difficult situation. And there's so many people in this church that have big hearts that are looking for a ways that they can can be the hands and feet of Christ. We just passed the one year anniversary of Caleb being in heaven and um, my doorbell rang and somebody from my small group showed up and all the ladies in the small group had purchased a plant and written a card. Um, and just for them to remember without me saying something was so touching. Because of him, we probably got connected in church. We shored up those little cracks that happened in a marriage over 10 years. and because he's not here and because he is in heaven, he really is my everything's okay, no baby.